and I'm playing this here dulcimer, and um, it's kind of a song machine. Like, I just feel like you hear those chords and that sound, and there's something living in it. It's really fun. Th this is the kind of thing that I would maybe take on a specific kind of right that I was going on. I've been messing around with this one for the last couple of days and I thought it was a really great studio tool and I think it is, but after playing it and singing along with it here just a little bit, I feel like if you were writing with somebody that was very kind of folk oriented or you were trying to maybe push them into a different direction, this would just be a sound that would really inspire that type of movement in that direction. It's very cool, it's very inspiring to me. It's also really easy to play. You can just kind of put your fingers on the fretboard and cool sounds come out. You really can't do anything wrong. This sounds like a real grown-up instrument. It's crazy good. The sonic spectrum, I know these are like silly buzzy words and stuff like that, but it's got a lot of low end. Kind of all through it, you can hear it. it rings really, really well. I'm playing it with a really thin pick right now to kind of brighten it up a little bit, but it's really robust, low mids. It sings its own song. It really sounds great. Um, it stays in tune really well, which is nice. I also think it's beautiful. I love the fretboard, and I love the inlays on the fretboard. I think they're lovely. The top looks great. The stain is awesome. The back is very cool, too, and it's just a great instrument. It's, it's kind of a song machine. As far as what I was originally thinking it would be wonderful for on sessions and stuff like that, it kind of harkens to the bazooki type world, octave mandolin, maybe mandola kind of area where, you know, a lot of times if you're playing acoustic stuff, there's already an acoustic track that's kind of holding down the big cowboy chords and there might be an electric track that's really loud in the mix and maybe even another capo guitar pass playing a similar thing and a producer would say like, hey, I need something for the stereo space or something a little brighter, chime or whatever. And a lot of times I'll reach for like a, a what we call a high strung guitar in Nashville or like a bazooki or octave mandolin or whatever. And I feel like this lives in that world, but kind of cooler. It's a it's a cooler sound to me. It's different and, and it's very different from an acoustic guitar. It's really different from the tonality of like a high strung guitar even. It gives you that like 12 string, like Crosby, Stills and Nash, Eagles, all that kind of stuff, but it still twists your ear in a different way. It's something a little bit new that I haven't really heard a lot of. Um, so I would use something like this a lot on records. It stays in tune really good, it's easy to play, and it sounds awesome.